not enough words can really describe it right now. A um, bit of a whirlwind. A uh, bit good to see some really good friends, uh, you know, not be not be involved, but at the same time, uh, very excited to uh, not focus down there. And uh, you know, I know we have cool friendlies, but want to focus on Ghana as well. The the cut now allows you're going to really work with the players that are going. How's that going to change the atmosphere? No, I think it really just kind of hones in now. We have, uh, we have game plan and tactics that we want to start uh, preparing for, and uh, for Ghana, uh, you know, in the less than a month now, and so that's something that we're really going to start honing in on and really prepare for, instead of trying to, uh, you know, just figure out who uh, is, is on the roster. Chris, two years ago, you were struggling to stick with this team, you're struggling to find your place, I mean, did you see this for yourself two years ago, did you visualize this at all? Uh, you know, I think I always had that uh, the dream and visualization, because um, I believe in myself, uh, you know, I definitely was struggling, and uh, you know, anytime uh, as a striker you start doubting yourself and second-guessing yourself, it's not where you want to be, but uh, I think I really started to find my form and uh, believe in myself, and also, you know, just kind of, especially as a striker, once the confidence starts going, it kind of snowballs, and uh, I feel very uh, happy with where my form is right now, and I feel that uh, it's going to continue to grow. Was there a moment where you said to yourself, you like, oh, Beckerman. I think I might actually have a good shot? Uh, yeah, when uh, I saw 23 guys in the room, uh, I think that was the time I really, uh, you know, you never really know, and it's one of those things where you're just always trying and uh, trying to prove any way you can, and uh, you know, that was always my game plan. Chris, we just come this way for me for a sec. Just, uh, I know it's only been a day, but uh, you know, how do you feel the pressure has, has been relieved now that there's 23 and you know you're in the team? How does that affect training, if at all? Um, you know, I think that, it, to be honest, I think there was a very high standard before. Uh, you know, I think the guys all brought their A game and came prepared and came in fit. And I think that's going to continue. I think now it's just, uh, you know, just instead of working as hard as you can just on individual uh, sense of things, it's now a collective team. Uh, it's a group thing and a, gr a group mentality that we're going to have and uh, now a game plan that we have uh, against Ghana that we'll try to implement against Azerbaijan and Turkey and uh, Nigeria as well. Who's the first person you called? What was that conversation like? Uh, it was definitely the wife. Uh, I told her. Uh, she told me to shut up and uh, didn't believe me for a little bit, but uh, it was. Uh, she, she did after a while. Is Emerson going to make it to Uh as, as of right now, we're still uh, trying to get visa and passport and everything uh, situated. and. Uh, just an extra thing that Lindsay's uh, dealing with, but uh, she, she's been doing well, and if, as long as that gets all situated, uh, she'll be down there. Chris, over the last 10 days, a lot of people talk about uh, the French. Do you in particular have a lot of French? Talk about you know, seeing one of your best friends on that roster with you. Um, it, it's great. Uh, to be honest, kind of gave me chills, and uh, right after, you know, guys were kind of congratulating each other, and uh, I, we just, you know, kind of, kind of had a bromance moment where uh, we kind of locked eyes and gave each other just a big hug. Uh, you know, it was one of those things where just relief, uh, excitement, it was just all those emotions kind of wrapped it up into one. Just kind of, kind of hug there, and uh, you know, just because we know how much work that, you, that you, the other one has put into it, and uh, how much it means to each other. Yeah, going back to 2005, you guys were teammates, and I know you guys spent time in the offseason together. Has the World Cup ever come up? In that conversation? Ah, uh, no, you, not really. I mean, to be honest, usually during our vacation, we're trying to uh, talk about January camp or something, and uh, you know that, that's usually the one that comes up. But uh, you know, World Cup is always we've, we've talked about it, but it's always kind of been there. Uh, you know, it's been that that ultimate pinnacle or the dream that we've kind of been uh, discussing. But uh, you know, I think that it's kind of cool that we've both been able to. Uh, to come both, both of you in your thirties, you know, like you have perseverance. Absolutely, I think uh, perseverance is definitely the you know most apt word for it because uh, I know especially with Brad, uh, he was there and then uh, you know had a bit of a jive spell where he wasn't you know called in uh, and didn't have much run and uh, you know kind of same for, for myself as well and so I think you know a lot of guys could have couldn't just written it off and got mad or you know kind of pouted over it but I think that kind of both uh, drove us and uh, made us work harder and. Made us uh, better players. You guys in a lobby? Are you roommates on the roof? Ah, uh, maybe. I don't know. We, we, I think he has a set, uh, set, set thing up. But uh, if it happens, uh, we'll be happy with that. Chris, there's, um, there's an argument to be made that 
Jurgen kind of plays a similar role that you did during his playing career, just in the way he approached the game, the way you drift off the ball. I mean, do you think he sees a tiny bit of himself in you when, when you get out there on the field? Um, if he does, I mean, that's a huge accomplish, uh, a compliment uh, I could receive just because of the amazing player he is. Um, you know, maybe a little bit in that sense because he was just, he was a deadly striker. And I, I do like to uh, try to implement that and uh, emulate that. And since, uh, you know, he, he was able to find space, he was able to uh, create his own little area. And then when he had a chance, he buried it. And, uh, you know, that's something that, you know, I try to, uh, try to work on and try to, try to do as well. Okay,